Audio Jungle. to take tutorials on your courses and your subjects okay please just go to the subscribe button click on it so that you can always enjoy this class as possible as you need it all right so this time uh, we're going to be taking you mathematics and we're going to be solving questions on indices and logarithm. The other time, or the other video I produced, it was on explanation, explanation, explanation on logarithm and indices. So this time, we're going to be solving numerous questions that are related to it. And we are going to also link it to exponential functions. Okay, we link it to exponential functions. Don't forget that. Indices is in different uh, format or it leads to different different topics. Okay? Because there's no topic that you will not meet indices. Oh yeah, and indices. Okay, so the first question I'm going to can handle now is uh the indices and log reading examples. Examples on indices and log reading. So let's say that sometimes we can have a question like this. Example one, if you have 25 raised to power n, 25 raised to power n equals to 5 equals to 5. I might be asked to look for n. I might be asked to look for n. So in this kind of situation, solution, find n. So in this kind of situation, we try as much as possible to check how we the, 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 how each of them can become a base. The same base. Because you know in indices you must be the same base before you can solve. So try to see if they can have the same base. So this is in conjunction with uh, exponential function. Alright, so this that means we can break this in the perfect square form. We can have 25 to be 5 raised power 2. And that's n here. Okay, the 2 we have to multiply the n, which is equal to 5. So this one is raised to power 1. Okay, there's nothing on it, on it but the power there is 1. Okay, so because they have the same base, then the power is the same. That means I have a 2n. So we just cancel out the five. So n. Okay, when you are looking for n, you divide it by what is close to n. Divide two by what is close to n. And two is one that is close to n. So two cancel two. N equals to one two. That is answer to that question. Another example. Let's put it as example one. Another example. Another example. Let's assume we have uh, 64, 64 x raised by x times 8 raised by 2 equals to equals to 2 raised by 4. Find X. So according to law of uh, indices, when you are multiplying, you add the power. But just check to see how you can make them to have the same base. So that means this is uh, 8 raised by 2. That's x here. You're going to multiply it. And 8 raised by 2 equals to 2 raised by 4. Okay? So according to indices, we have uh, uh, 8 raised by 2 times plus 2 equals to 2 raised by 4. So at this juncture, we can easily check, make them to have the same base, which, uh, which will be 2 
3 into 2 dash plus 2 equals to 2 raised to power 4. So we have the same base, then the power is equal. Don't forget that when we have an equality, that's what we can handle in this way. So 3 times 2 r give us 6 s plus 3 times 2 give us 2. Give us 2. I give us 6, sorry. So it equals to 4. So transfer this 6 to the other side, we have a 6 s equals to 4 minus 6. 6 s equals to minus 2. So we divide 2 by 1 to the right, that's n that we're looking for. So s equals to minus 2 is a 6. S equals to 2 year 1 and 2 year minus 2 year 2. So we have a minus 1 and a 2. That is the answer to this question. That is the answer to this question. That is example 3 now. Example 3. Example 3. Let's assume we are, we are given we are given 8 8 this power 4 times y this power 5 times times 4 okay, let me just say 2 this power 8 equals to 7 equals to 7 so we are calling to love in this thing don't break it that is 2 raised by 3 2 raised by 3 is 4 and y is power 5 and 2 raised by 8 equals to 7 so this gives us this gives us 2 raised to power 12 plus 8 and y is power 5 equals to 7 so 2 raised to power 20 and so y is power 5 equals to 7. So that we are looking for y will give us 7 over 2 raised to power 20. So that means we have a y is equal to 30 root of 7 over 2 raised to power 20. So y is equal to uh, 7 1 over 5 over 2 20 times 1 over 5. So, which means we are having y to be equal to 7, 1 over 5 over 2 raised to power 4. So, which gives us y is equal to root 37 over 16. So, that's the answer to the question. So, let us find y. Okay? Now, if you watch well, you see that all the questions I've been handling here, there are multiplication and equality sign in between them. But if we are having addition or subtraction, addition or subtraction in between an indices or in between an indices or something that have a base and power, then that is that is what we call indicial equation. That's what we call indicial equation. So in an indicial equation, what will be seen is you will be seen addition or subtraction in between. You can see the other, all the function we're solving is multiplication or division that is in, in between them. So in this kind of situation, we we'll call it indicial equation. So in an indicial equation, it can lead us to different, different, uh, different, different uh, 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 link. It can lead us to, uh, it can lead us to Simultaneous equation, it can lead us to quadratic equation. Most as, especially, it can lead to quadratic equation. For example, so in this equation. So in an initial equation, I said we may have a situation whereby uh, plus or minus will be between. To the extent that there's no way you can uh, utilize the rules of logarithm. Which state when you are multiplying, you have the power. Okay? And if we sometimes we usually reverse logarithm, that's the way of reversing logarithm. Look at if we have a 2, 2, 2 s plus 7. Okay? It's because of indices, that's why it gets the indices rule. That's why it gets this one. This one can also give up 2, 2 s times 2 is plus 7. Okay? You can see it this way. So in this initial equation, we'll be reversing it back in some cases. Why some? We may not. Okay, so look at this question now. 
Look at this question. Let's assume we have a sum for x in 2, 2, 2 raised by 2x plus, plus 5, 5 into 2 raised by x minus 6 equals to 0. So you can see in between then, in between this and this, we are having plus. And you can see minus there. So this is what we call initial equation. So in an initial equation, you try as much as possible to see how you can convert this to the law I gave you the other time. The law of uh, 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 distribution of power. So this one that I have two here, you can easily do it this way. We have two. I'm, I'm solving it already. It's a solution. 2s raised by 2. So that's why that this two can come here, so it can go back to 2s. So we are not trying to leave it that way. Plus 5 into 2 raised by s minus 6 equals to 0. Okay? So if you check where you see that I'm having 2 raised by s here, I'm having 2 raised by s here. So what we try to do is the one that is raised to power uh, 2 uh, raised by s, we look for one and alphabet to replace them. So when we do that, we're going to lead out to a quadratic equation. Then we now solve the question. So let us say let k equals to let k equals to 2 raised by x. Okay? So I will now use k to replace all the 2 raised by x here. So I have a k, don't forget that there's power here, we're going to square it. Then plus 5k, because this one is k minus 6 equals to 0. So we can use the different method to handle this question. So we can use factorial, we can see for that equation. In a quadratic equation, the highest power, uh, the highest degree, degree of power is 2. Okay? Look at uh, the power here is 2. So the power here is 1. Apart from that, the highest degree here is 2. So this is what for quadratic equation. So we can use uh, five methods to it. We can use five methods to it. The first method is we can try to use factorization method. So factorization method is, is used if the if it's factorizable. We check. What we can, uh, two things that when we add it together, it's going to give us five. And when we multiply it together, it's going to be the same two things, it's going to give us minus six. It's going to give us six, considering the sign. So the sign is very, very important. So, or we can use the completing the square method. Completing the square method is just try as much as possible to make sure that the question is one. Then after that, you divide the question of one that the power is one by two. Then you square it, then you transfer it to the other side, then that uh, result you have got it, you, you, use it, you add it to both sides. And when you do that, you simplify, your answer will jump. I think that's the second method. The third method is by using the quadratic equation formula. The third method is by using the quadratic equation formula. So by quadratic equation formula, we can easily use uh, uh, the formula we see that we have a minus b, okay, we are looking for k, I so just minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4 is over 2 a. So this is what we call for that equation formula. Although we usually some used to call it a almighty formula. The almighty formula is wrong. Okay, we call it equation formula or for that equation formula. Alright, so we can easily use it. Or we can also use calculator approach. We can use calculator approach whereby you can use your uh, natural display calculator. Then you input the value based on the step that is involved in the calculator approach. When you put the value, then the answer will jump out. That is just So don't forget that we don't forget that this one, I think, is uh, factorizable. I think it's factorizable. So we are going to use factorization method here. We are going to use factorization method here. So the factorization method, we look for two things that when we add it together or subtract it, it's going to give us this value. And when we multiply it, it will give us this value. And I think we'll be having k squared. That means a plus, I think a 5, uh, 6, uh, minus 6, and plus 1 is the value that we will use. And don't forget that in uh, a graphical method, you can say it's the root of the equation. So that means I have a, a 6. When you have already detected what you can use, uh, then we will now sub substitute those two to the equation. So that means I have a 6k minus k. But that is a 
one man is six hundred and twenty-five days. One can six hundred and twenty-five days. Man and one can six hundred and twenty-five days. Minus six, which is a minus six because it's zero. So we are going to bracket them, keep them two two. That is k squared plus six k. Okay. We have a minus k minus six. Minus k minus six. So let us do this way then. But don't forget that the bracket must be the same. The, the, the panel in the bracket must be the same. The, the panel here must be the same with what we have. So what we have, we have a k into k into. So when I remove one k, it remains k. So that means I have a k. When I remove k, it remains 6 plus 6. Okay? Then I have a minus 1. That's what is common here. Okay? K. So I'll put the one that is not inside the bracket together. I'll keep them together. That is a k minus one. Then I'll keep one in the bracket. K plus six plus zero. So I will put. Yeah, anytime I have bracket, uh, maybe one, two, three bracket that's equal to zero. We put each of the bracket to zero. So that means I have a k minus one equals to zero. Then k plus six equals to zero. So I'll transfer this to the other side. K equals to 1 or K equals to final 6. Okay? So, but this is not the final answer. What we are expected to solve for is X, but now we are we are gotten K. So let's see how we can get X. Let's see how we can get S. Let's see how we can get S. So recall that K is equals to recall that K is equals to K is equals to 2 raised by S. So, sorry, K is equals to 1 and uh, K is equals to minus 6. So, we now say when K equals to 1, that means I have 1 equals to 2 raised by S. So, when you are plotting this way, what you really need to do is try to see what you can, uh, what can give or what can, this can raise, or what can, what can make this you know, have the same base with this two. You notice that N raised by uh, 0 is 1. That means I'm having 2 raised by 0 here, equals to 2 raised by s. You can see it. So, but this one is 1 now, yes? Yes. So, and say the base is equal, and the power is equal. That means s equals to 0. So this one is already sorted out. The next thing is when k equals to 6. When k equals to 6. This listen attentively and see how we handle it. When k equals to 6. When k equals to 6. I saw the minus 6. So that means we have a minus 6 equals to 2 raised by s. Because k is equals to 2 raised by s. So this kind of situation, there's nothing, nothing we can, uh, that this can raise so that we can get 6. No, nothing. But the easiest way of handling it is by taking logarithm of both sides. So we take logarithm of both sides. So if you want to take, if you take logarithm of both sides, just log to this 10 minus 6 equals to log to the extent to x. So when we have something like that, we say we are having uh, what? So that means that negative logarithm of a negative value will give us uh, infinity, will give us an error. So what we only need to do is we take out the negative, we take it out. So that means I have a log 10, 6 equals to, so this is log of double power that I gave you the other day. So that means we have a S log 2 to base 10. So we are going to what is log 6? Log 6. Log 6. So log 6 is going to give us 0 0.7782 minus 0 0.7782. Okay, approximately. Approximately equals to log 2. Log 2. Log 2 is 0 0.3010. 0 0.3010. 0 .3010. Remember that that's S here. You need to multiply. So we divide 2 by, by that thing that's close to S. So S is equal to minus 0 0.7782 over 0 0.3010. Okay? So our S become, our S become, our S become. Our s become two point minus two 
point point six approximate minus two point six approximate. So that's how to handle that question. That means our s equals to s equals to zero or s equals to minus two point six. Okay, that is how to handle this kind of question. So let's give you, let me give you more. Let me give you more. Look at this kind of question. Four, four raised to power s square minus minus two. Okay, let me just say minus one. Minus one. Minus one. Mm, plus four raised to power four raised to power x. 4 is by s equals to 0. Equals to 0. So this kind of situation, we are going to do reverse, reverse. That's the 4 is by s squared divided by 4 is by minus 1 plus 4 is by s equals to 0. Okay? So we just uh, look for, look for, okay? That means we are having that means we are having four raised to power. That means we are having four is power x. Four is power s. Four is power s. So we have a four is power s squared divided by 4 raised power minus 1. Okay? So, equals to minus 4 raised power x. Equals to minus 4 raised power x. Or let me just confine it already. It's easier. All right. So, please kindly subscribe to this channel and uh, like this video.